Hey guys, welcome back to Quest for Glory 2. I'm just going to sit down and uh, have some breakfast before starting the day. Now somewhere in the city there is the uh, Wizards Institute of Technocracy, I think it's called. Um, ask about the WIT. Uh, Shema doesn't know anything about it, so let's just uh, eat the meal and uh, we'll be on our way. The poet Omar will thrill, will thrill all who hear uh, with his words of song after the setting of the sun in our own inn. So better make sure I'm back tonight for uh, the poetry. Now right, let's take a look at the map. Uh, I think the, Wiz the, the Wizards Institute is up here. So I'm going to start from the Palace uh, Plaza. Head to the north and uh, see if I can find my way there. Now one way to find out where the Institute is, is to, uh, to cast Detect Magic. And an arrow will point you in the right direction. So if I follow the path around and then just take the, well, stick to the right hand wall, I should eventually find my way there. The strange noise seems to be coming closer. Don't know who that is. Wait a minute, was there a path leading off to the... Yeah, I did, I missed a path here. Let's go uh, cast detect. I think we're heading off to the left now. Yeah, this, seem, this seems about right. There we go. So eventually the arrows will lead you uh, to this alleyway. This dead end alley looks much like the other streets of Shapir. You feel a very slight tingling feeling, almost beyond the limits of sensation. So let's uh, detect magic here. Oops, cast, uh, uh, detect. And uh, cast open as well, cast open on the door. Here we go. You have entered a very strange place. The path you walk upon seems to be carved from ivory. The walls around you seem carved of marble. Between the walls and the path is a gap through which you view total darkness. When you look down, when you look up, you see the same limitless black. You have a funny feeling you aren't in Chapier anymore. You have been walking through halls hung with the portraits of many wizards. At last you come to some pictures that you recognize. You hear several voices. Who are you that enters the lofty portals of the Wizards Institute of Techno Technosery? Uh, I am Jester. Why have you sought to enter into the Wizards Institute of Technosery? Uh, I seek magic. Who do you call upon to be your sponsor and mentor in these hallowed halls of the Wizards Institute? Uh, I think Erasmus. Let's see if Erasmus will uh, sponsor us. There is a moment of silence. Do you actually request such a whimsical wizard to be your sponsor? It was the choice he made. But you know what Erasmus is like. Do we have to enjoy his sense of levity? It was the initiate's decision. Let him abide with it. Very well. Magister Erasmus of Zauberberg, uh, Archmage Extraordinaire, do you accept Jephster to be your initiate into the Wizards Institute? You hear the familiar voice of Erasmus. Let me see, Jephster. Ah, yes, the young hero who was so bright. You hear the squeaky voice of Fenris. You think anyone who laughs at one of your jokes to be intelligent? 
A good sense of humor is an excellent indicator of superior intellect. Yes, but the keyword is good. <laughs> Erasmus, do you or do you not accept Jephthah? I, Magister Erasmus of Zauberberg, do hereby accept Jephthah as my initiate for WIT. Wizards Institute of Technosory. Of course. Now, Hero of Spielberg, before you can be initiated into WIT. Uh, Wizards Institute of Technosory, you must first prove you are magically and mentally worthy. You will be presented with a choice of three objects using the spells at your command. You must choose the correct object, move it to the stand, and cause it to ring using only three spells. The choice of the first two spells should be self-evident, and the third is also. Erasmus. Oh, well, right. Well, good luck, young hero. And remember, the joke about the man who grew more mellow as he grew bolder? He no longer had hair brain schemes. No, he no longer had such a hair-triggered temper. Erasmus. Very well, then, young hero. Please step into the dark room. Purely a formality. Don't worry about a thing. Okay. Ouch, my nose. Okay. <laughs> We're heading in for a little test. One of Erasmus's tests. You find yourself in a strange place. For some reason you cannot move your legs, although you see nothing constraining them. A strange feeling passes through you as though someone were examining you closely. Um, the first thing we're going to cast is a trigger to find out which is the magical bell. Oh, no, no. No, I don't want to cast trigger. Oops. The spells to cast in their proper order should be obvious. They are to me. That's because you made up this test. At any rate, hero, you should take some time and think about this. No. Detect magic was what we needed to cast. <laughs> How did I ruin that so quickly? Um, let's see how many spell points I've got. Uh, 80 magic points. Cast uh, detect. I should have enough magic points to get through it. I was getting ahead of myself. Let's do this again. That was actually just the, the warm up test. Shouldn't have failed that one. Okay. Let's go through. And uh, this time we need to figure out what bell is magical uh, before we cast the trigger or fetch spell. So let's cast uh, detect. Yeah, it's the one on the right. I'm going to cast a fetch on this one. Uh, and then cast trigger. There we go. You have shown yourself very capable in figuring out the spells needed for the pretest. However, before you can be considered a true wizard, you must pass the trial of initiation which the Wizards of Wit will give you. I warn you, this test will take all of your wits and magical skills in order to succeed. If you succeed, you will then face. But I can say no more. Say no more. So, hero, good luck. Promises, promises. You said you would say no more. Oh, Fenris. Good luck, Jephster. Thank you. You have shown yourself to be resourceful in your use of spells under simple conditions. To become a wizard, you must prove that you are capable of using magic under time-critical and life-threatening conditions. You'll be presented with a series of four tests that will require all your intel intelligence and magic. Uh, should you fail, your very life may be endangered. Will you accept the challenge and walk the path of wizardry? Yes, accept the challenge. You find yourself walking on a narrow pathway leading to the edge of infinity. You hear only your own footsteps. You must now stand into the wind. We need to get past this. I'm going to cast uh, Fetch, first of all. And then quickly cast uh, Levitate. Let's levitate over the, over the fan. Of the blades. There we go. Uh, 
You must now face raging earth and stone. First thing I'm going to do is cast a uh, trigger on the wall. Turn it into an earth elemental and then cast calm. Oop. Oh, it's working up, so let's start cast calm again. You must now overcome the subtle strengths of water and ice. We're faced with a uh, wall of ice, so let's cast uh, cast flame dart. Try to melt it. You seem to have melted the hoarfrost. Now you can see the iceberg is fractured. So I cast a force bolt. You're so exhausted that everything you do hurts. Better get some rest. Uh oh. I will get some rest once I finish the uh, the magical tests. Uh, and finally, let's uh, cast open here. I think there's one more test to get through. You must now withstand the fury of my flames. Okay, there's a door with a fire behind it. Let's cast um, open. With the door open, the fire's heat is more intense. So we will try to calm it down. The flames have died down only to reveal a hole burned into the pathway. Cast up fetch on the door, and then uh, force bolt to push the door over. Oh, I missed. There we go. That should be it. You did it. You're at wit's end. Nice. You have proven yourself worthy of the Wizards Institute of Techno Technosery and Erasmus's faith. Congratulations, you are now a wizard initiate. Now you have outgrown the childish hero business and can devote yourself to years of metaphysical musings and esoteric exercises designed to invigorate your intellect and to manipulate your mental and magical muscles. You have passed this day from the lesser mortal plane into the realm of wizards. You are now qualified to begin your postgraduate magical training. In 15 or 20 years, you'll be ready to return to the world of mere men. Until that time, you will bask in the sunshine and, securing, uh, and security of academia, knowing you shall receive the best of all possible educations. Ahead of you are the wonders of wizardry. Behind you are all the petty problems inherent in the mundane land. You have passed beyond those weaklings who depended upon your skills and dared to call you friend. You will now learn the real magic of the Wizards Institute of Technosery, knowledge gained through careful study. Walk away from the world of those fools who claim they need you. You are more than just a hero now. You are a scholar. You have only to take the oath that you will ignore and forget about those who said they needed you in the land of Shapi and devote yourself to the improvement of your mind and magic. Will you take the oath? Uh, we can't leave all our friends behind and Shapir still needs a hero, so I'm not going to uh, take the oath. Well, it is obvious you think being a hero is more important than being a scholar. Perhaps someday when you have matured a bit, you'll comprehend the enormity of the education you have ignored. The Wizards Institute of Technosery is for real wizards rather than the real world. Congratulations, wizard. Jeffster, you have shown exceptional intelligence by refusing to take their silly oath. After all, what good is magic or knowledge unless you use it? This is true, we don't want to be cooped up studying for 20 years. My graduation present for you is the reversal spell. You may recall the kobold's use of it against you in Spielberg. Cast reversal and magical attacks directed at you will rebound to their caster, but take care, it will not help against the indirect effects of other spells. You feel the thrill of knowledge, now you know how to cast the spell of reversal. You should now return to Shapir, I really need a real wizard hero like you there. You remember, those who can do. Those that can't tell others what to do. Fenris, when is a rat not a rat? When it turns into its rat hole? No, when it's eradicated. What did the rat say as he fell 12,000 feet straight down? 
It's a long way to Tipperati, or maybe, geez, it must wish I hadn't gone this way. Oh, all right, what did the rat say? I'm not sure either, but I know a way to find out. Care to volunteer? I guess I blew it. I'd shatter be gooder for a while, right? <laughs> right, at any rate, Wizard Hero, good luck and farewell. Okay, we've completed the Wizard's test. Uh, I think I'm pretty tired now. Let's have a quick look. Stamina points, 0 of 65. What is the time of day? The day is still dawning. Uh, we need to go back and have a rest for a bit. Let's just head straight into the uh, Cutter's Tail Inn. Now there is the poetry tonight. You awaken much refreshed. Welcome, hero. Let's have a look and see how many stamina. Oh, we get the full stamina points back. Still quite low on magic points. Two gold diners. Let's just have a look at the potions. Mana potions and vigor pills we have. Okay. What I wouldn't mind doing for the rest of the day is either going out to the desert. What is the time now? Mid-morning. I guess I've got time to go out into the desert. Now, we are looking for the well uh, for the wizard, the magic uh, shop owner. Before going out to the desert, though, I think I should just do a quick save. It can be quite dangerous out there. If you are exploring the desert, you should visit the dervish at the oasis. He is a very wise man. Okay, we'll see if we can... Let's, uh, oh, let's ask about the oasis. The oasis is a place in the desert where there is life-giving water. It is five scurrying lengths to the south and three scurrying lengths to the east. Uh, screen to the east from the town overlook. Okay. I'm actually going to restore my mana. Um, magic point 74 of 92, just in case I get into a fight and need to cast Flame Bolt. So if I have a look in my inventory, I should have a look at the spell skills. They should have all gone up. Flame Dart cast five, uh, costs 5 magic. Okay, quick save and uh, let's head out into the desert. So he said five screen lengths to the south from the overlook. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five. Now we need to be going this... Whoop! Nope! Wrong button. Uh-oh. We're being attacked! Why did that not work? Oh, this thing's nasty. I think this is the uh, the toughest creature in the game. Well, toughest creature in the desert anyway. No, it's going to kill me. Come on. No, it killed me. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. If I faced anything else, I probably could have dealt with it, but not one of those sauruses. I do need to find one of those scorpions, because I can sell the scorpion tail at the apothecaries. Uh, 
Um, I actually wasn't counting. I think I need to go one more. It should be a yeah. Oh, I can face this guy. I think a brigand. He shouldn't be as tough as a Saurus. I hope. Try to finish him off. Should improve my um, combat skills a little bit as well. Yes, you have triumphed gloriously over the brigand. Nice. Search uh, brigand. Oh, we should get a little bit of gold for that. Five dinars. Nice. And of course we can use that to buy some health potions and things like that. It's pretty good actually. Five dinars is quite a lot. Okay, so uh, what's the what's the time? Still mid morning, so we've got a bit of time to have a look around. Nice. Freedom is like temper. While I'm here, let's take a drink. Okay, we filled all the water skins as well. The oasis looks blue and cool. You're not so sure about the character attached to the palm tree. Cool, maybe. Hero business like eating peanuts. Okay, talk to um, Dervish. If you want the right answer, ask the right person. Ask about uh, Shapir. Land of Shapir like rainbow, very colourful and always something new. I need the world of a dervish. Ask about the world. The difference between beard and world is one world's around the tree, the other twirls around me. Can I take part of the beard? You take a small piece of the dervish's beard and put it carefully away. Nice. Uh, so we can give that to the apothecary. Whirl of a beard. Okay, that's what we're looking, looking for. Uh, I wonder if he knows anything about the elementals. Fire elemental like mule cannot be driven, only be encouraged to follow. Water elemental is to water as the lodestone is to metal. Wind blows fastest without sand. Okay. Perseverance can wear away rock. I wonder if he knows anything about uh, Aziza, the Enchantress. When he watches world whirl by, sees many things. Announcements? If you want right answer, okay. That's fine, I think. I think we know everything we need to at the moment. So, let's hop back on. And if I can think of any other questions, I might come back and ask him. He's supposed to be a wise man. Um, I do want to have a look at my stats, uh, health 46, stamina. Stamina is still pretty good. Uh, magic's not bad as well. So I could actually just wait here and see if I can get into another fight. Waves of desert dunes roll towards the mountains. I do need a little bit more money to purchase. Ah, here we go. This is what I need. Ah, I need the tail. Uh oh, this 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 thing is looking uh, pretty tough. 
magic points are holding up. Getting a little bit low though. Come on. Yes, just one more maybe. Yes. Whew. That was pretty close. Take a tail. You get the scorpion's tail carefully, avoiding its venom. Nice. So we can sell that to the apothecaries as well. Actually, I think we can just tell him to go home when we're done. Your Saurus's natural homing instinct quickly sets you on the right path. Ah, uh, here we are. I'll be honored to put your Saurus back into the stable for you. Thank you. Uh, let's have a look at the map and go to the uh, apothecaries. Let's talk to the man. Sell, did he? Yeah, he wanted the tail, didn't he? Sell a uh, scorpion tail. Ah, wonderful. I was almost out of poison cure pills. Now I can make up some more. Here is your reward of 20 dinars. I actually thought it was only 15. Uh, so that's pretty good. I do need, I do want some health potions just in case. Some more mana pills as well. Let's ask about pills and see how much they cost. Now, Vigor Pills for 5, Healing for 10, Poison Cure for 12, Mana for 15. That's very expensive, but I probably will need some more. Let's buy the Vitality Potions first. Uh, I think if you bargain for them, uh, you can get them cheaper. I have many pills for sale. Uh, is it Vitality? It's about... Oh, Healing, okay bargain for the healing pills. Because you are such a fine person for you, I will make a special deal. I will sell you three doses of pills at regular price and throw in a fourth dose free of charge. Nice. Okay, so we've got another... Well, we got four healing pills there. Uh, I should be able to buy some more mana pills as well. So let's bargain for the mana pills. Um, so I'll get a fourth one for free. Six mana pills now. Four healing and three vigor. That should last me for a little while. Um, did I buy the incense from him? I will need that a little bit later. Let's uh, buy incense. The incense will cost you by the price of my ingredients a mere 70 centimes. Okay. I think that's all I need here. Send time for the poor, Fendi. Send time for the poor. Let's give him a uh, send time. Thank you, thank you, Fendi. You shame me with your kindness. Uh, I do want to fill up the water skins as well after going through the uh, the desert. Ah, now I do want to go to the magic shop as well. Actually, do I have food? Uh, eight food rations. That should last me a little while. I don't need to buy anything at the uh, shops at the moment. Let's see if um, the magic store owner wants the uh, the whirl of a dervish. So I'll ask him about the whirl. Notice my note. Miss Steed is. It is the wish for the world of a dervish. I'll pay 1,500 cent times in dinars, of course, for such a thing. Okay, let's give him the, uh, the well. You uncurled me some well from dervish. Oh, fabulous day. Hurrah, hooray. Uh, 17 gold dinars now. Nice. One saurus. Where's the... 
Griffin Feather. Are the feathers for the apothecary as well, I think. Catch of incense. Hmm. Was uh, I think the uh, the Griffin Feather is for the the spell potion. It was the uh, the Griffin Feather and the the fruit of compassion. Day on day three. Might just have time to do some training before listening to the poet tonight. Let's talk to Herrick. Um, I'm going to ask him about uh, the spell uh, potion. Uh, okay, let's um, give him the, uh, the feather. I still need the fruit of compassion. You need uh, to add the victim's hair at the last moment. Well, we don't know who the victim is at the moment. So let's take a oh, let's take a uh, look at the map. Head over to the Fighters Plaza. Good day, a most pleasant one for those such as myself who like the heat. Although most humans might find it hot, Simba here is more like a lion. He's having a wonderful time. Mid afternoon. Is there time for some training? I think so. It's good sometimes to have Simba with Rakesh. Hard to feel like a strong warrior when feeding baby. Maybe you and I do some practice with weapons today. Uh, sure. I don't want to miss Omar, Omar's uh, poetry, but we should have time for some training. Swing high, swing low, keep enemy guessing where your weapon will be. High, low, high, low, back, dodge. I think I'm getting a little bit better at this. Uh, you got a good swing. My shield arm is sore. Nice. We're doing better, I think. Um, so we've improved in weapon use, dodge, health points, stamina, and magic has all gone up. Strength has gone up a little bit as well. Uh, nice. Mid-afternoon, and we are completely out of... Uh, where are we? Completely out of stamina points. So let's head back to the inn, I think, for the rest of the day, for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, welcome, hero. Not quite time for the poetry yet. The poet will soon speak if you will be, uh, if you will but be seated. Okay. In the month of the serpent, in the year of the jinn, a shadow passed over the cutter's tail in. Astrologers foretell that doom shall come to dwell, and Shapir shall be but stand upon the wind. Comes a hero from the north, riding on the very air. And this is sign the first to then beware, for darkness soon shall fall and shadow cover all, the city and the ones now living there. The first doom shall be fire, which shall burn the very stone, the next is air and rocks are overthrown. Earth shall be the third, then the final doom is heard, the water gone, the city parched like bone. Unless the one called hero is a hero true indeed, who comes to help the city in its need, then will face the depths of doom in the darkness of the tomb. From the Elemental's Master, we are freed. Hmm. Okay. I think we get a chance to have a, a chat with Omar as well. Is Omar the poet? I'm the poet, teller of tales that all might hear, speaker of speeches, weaver of words, for all Shapir, giver of Gossip, writer of rhymes, narrator of news, I am called Omar, teacher of truths to all now near. The poet is a source of information and entertainment for the land. Let's ask him about uh, Shapir. From the mountains whose tips touch the stars, to the city streets filled with the bazaars, to the deserts of flowing golden sand, a tapestry of art across the land. 
The beauty of this land must be experienced to truly appreciate it. Let's ask about the sister city at Rosia. The dark has touched her and has turned aside all things of light that once did there abide. Rosia is left to crumble in despair, thus wickedness and folly now reside. But in the doer's arrogance and pride, the light grows ever stronger. Now outside, a hero strives to force the darkness back, and into morning shall be Rezia's guide. The city of Rezia has been overcome by darkness, yet there shall be a hero to return her to light. Let's ask about the hero. You may ask, what is a hero? Yet the answer is very clear. He's the one that faces fear when the darkness gathers near. A hero will brave the very darkness for the needs of others. Hmm... Um, do I want to ask about anything else, like the fire? Upon that question, I would further ponder. For guidance, I suggest that these seek yonder. Um, let's ask about Aziza. A wizard woman weaves the warp of spells by which is watched what incidents befell. Aziza sees the present and the past, perceives what is, and thus shall be foretells. The enchantress Aziza uses her magic to see events which occur in this land. Now ask about the elementals. The fire elemental living flame, destruction unleashed, wild and never tame, causing all it touches then to burn, leaving only ashes in return. The fire elemental is created by a spell cast by a user of magic. Once created, it burns and destroys, uncontrolled by any master. The wind which turns and twists with speeding force, it wrecks and ruins all without remorse. The dust of devil's vortex of despair, a living elemental formed of air. The elemental of air, by the sheer power of wind, is capable of vast destruction. Uh, did I... what did I type there? Uh, water... elemental. A thing of water living contradiction, despite the water's flowing benediction. For, for in its power, at its very worst, forces men to suffer die of thirst. The water elemental by its nature absorbs water, thus those around it die of thirst. Uh, finally, let's ask about the earth elemental. The might of earth and strength of rock transformed, and through the land the creature rose and stormed. The shape of man was made by force of spell until the fire's fury shall it quell. The elemental of earth is a force of great devastation, but it can be overcome by flame. Ask about Abdul Abdul Adu. No, okay, never mind. Uh, farewell. The night is still young on day three. I wonder what it's like here at night time. Can I have a can I have a little look? I mean, I could go out into the desert. I do need the ghouls. Uh, the ghouls' claws, I think. Magic points 39, health points 43. Do I risk going out tonight? I might do a little bit more practice tomorrow. And then head out tomorrow night into the desert. See if I can find a ghoul, because I need the ghoul's claws to sell to the apothecary. Um, can I order a meal before... Heading into bed so I don't have to use up one of the rations. Shema will be with you shortly with one of her splendid meals. Here is lemon chicken with garlic and lamb, stewed with herbs, eat it in good health. Uh, does she know about the, uh, the poet? He is a wonderful poet and he knows many things. We are most lucky that he comes here. Eat. Meal. You feel stuffed and content. Fortunately, heroes never get belly aches. Okay, well, it's another day gone in the land of Shapir. Let's uh, rest until dawn. Hero friend, the most strange fire has been seen outside the inn. Take care as you leave.
The cutter merchants could not set up the plaza outside because of the fire this morning. Let's ask about the fire. Cutter are very wary of flames. Please be careful around it. Your breakfast is delicious. Okay, let's uh, see what's happened uh, outside. Uh, day's dawning on day four. Fire sale today, I sell you real wood burned by real fire. Elemental, be the first on your blog to own this. Looks like everyone else is gone. Let's now ask about the fire. It's hot, it's red. It's something you cook with. It burned my stand down. Ask about the fire elemental. The fire elemental, he burned her down this place, I guess. Maybe he no like a souvenirs. Hmm. Well, we are going to have to deal with this uh, fire elemental somehow. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit more training with Uhura today. Because I don't think we're going to be able to, uh, to deal with a fire elemental uh, right away. Uh, now there is the fighters guild down here, but I don't have much to do with that. Or the weapons shop. Let's see what else we have. The plaza of the fighters bustles with the activities of the local merchants. Every hero has need for belts and boots and water skins. May it be that I sell you something and I shall be most pleased to serve you. Is that the bellows above the uh, the door? The emblem of the bellows above the door looks like the real thing. Hmm, interesting. Let's head over here. See how fine my clothes look upon you. Make sure all who ask about what you wear know that I, Kiram the cloth merchant, made them for you. It's about cloth. I have clothes of all sizes and styles, cloth of the finest dyes. If it is made of cloth, then I carry it in my stand. Perhaps I could sell you a cloth bag to contain your extra equipment. Um, ask about uh, cloth bag. The bags I have are woven so fine they can carry the sand and plaster used to repair the city's walls, yet strong enough that they will not break under so much weight. They cost but 50 cent times. Let's buy a bag. You pay for the cloth bag and put it away. Okay. I think I still have money for some more stamina potions if I need them. Looks like you need to get some more practice today. You'll be getting plenty good. Yeah, let's get some more practice in. Oh dear. She's got a big hit in there. She's not going easy on me this time. You're so exhausted that everything you do hurts. Better get some rest. At that time we both got work out. Pretty soon I'll be needing a rest. Okay. Uh, strength is up to 50. Health points 58. Dodge up to 55. Have no parry skill at all. Weapon use is now 52. So that could help me in the desert a little bit. Go take the uh, the vigor pill. Um, does that put me back up to full vigor? Uh, stamina point sixty eight. It does, uh, and I've got sixteen dinars as well. Let's head back to the uh, fountain plaza. And I do want to make sure that my water skins are full. Let's just buy some more Vigor potions while I've got the money for them. We'll uh, bargain for the, uh, the Vigor pill. So it should give us four, and they cost uh, 
not too much. Okay. So I think I might wander about a little bit, have a couple of fights, and then um, call that a day. Just improve my spell casting a little bit, improve my fighting a little bit. As long as I've got the Saurus with me, I don't need to worry too much about getting lost. can head across this way. We found the griffin feather the other side, so we can see what's what's along the side of the cliff uh, in this direction. The waves of desert dunes roll towards the mountains. Mid-morning, day four. Let's see if we can uh, get a fight with a bandit or something. Maybe I need to be further out into the desert. Is there anything, anything to battle with? more room. Uh, dismount. So the drink of water. Tastes great. Hmm, not sure where the enemies are. Oh, here we go. Another bandit. Well, maybe just to finish him off. Another five dinars is pretty good. I think I'll end up being pretty rich if we keep facing these these brigands. What is this? Last. Someone's playing golf. <laughs> A Persian golfer out here in the desert. All right. Now it's a little bit of damage to him first. This time. I'll try to finish him off with my superior sword skills. Oh, no, nope. they're not that superior, apparently. No, nope. okay. Ooh. Okay, luckily we had a uh, flame down there. Uh, search brigand. Another three dinars. So I'll take one of the health pills just in case. Doesn't put us up to full, but um, hopefully we won't die anytime soon. Let's take a look at this plant. The plant seems to have adapted to the desert heat. Uh, mid morning and day four. Uh oh, scorpion, do I want, do I want to face a scorpion? Let's do a few 
few flame darts, first of all. I'm gonna get poisoned. There we go. You've dealt scorpion your own deadly thing. Nice. Should be able to take another tail, sell that to the apothecary. Come to a sandy alcove in the mountains. A strange human-shaped plant seems to have grown out of the sand here. Look, shape. Look, tree. The plant almost looks like a woman. Look, woman. No one responds. Hmm. We will come back here, I'm sure. But now I know where she is. Um, I'm going to head back to uh, Shapir for now. We'll come back and uh, deal with this, this tree woman a little bit later. For now, we're going to uh, go home, let the Saurus find its own way home. Um, I should have a little bit of... Well, maybe I can take a stamina pill. And uh, do some more training with Uhura for the day. Okay, so the guard's going to put the Saurus back. Fire sale today. Poor guy, he's lost his, his shop. Everyone else has disappeared as well. I'm going to see if he wants another scorpion tail. Ah, wonderful. I was almost out of Poison Cure Pills. He's given us another 20 dinars. 39 now. Nice. Could buy some more healing pills. I think I'm okay for now. Good day on day four. Let's have a look at the map. Welcome, hero. I'm actually just going to have a rest for one hour after that walk around the desert. I could go out tonight and look for the ghoul's claws rather than training with Uhura. With points 47 of 61 magic points. Yeah, let's go and rest for the rest of the... until the evening. Yeah, almost back up to full, so it's not too bad. I will grab some, uh, some dinner first and we'll head off to the desert. Lamb falafels and soured cream along with a rabbit curry are part of the meal for tonight. May it do you good. Sounds delicious. Yeah, I haven't seen Abdullah around for a while. What's happened to him? Just gonna save the game here in case I can't get back for some reason. Can I actually get out of the, uh, the city at night time? May thee be granted a happy evening, Effendi. Let's go and uh, see what the desert looks like at night time, shall we? See how difficult these uh, these ghouls are to find. See the stars out here over the city. Looks very nice. Let's 
Okay, uh, look at the stars. Look at the night sky. The blazing stars take on new meanings in the deserts of Sherpier. Looks like there's a hand uh, over the mountains. Uh oh, no, 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 no. No, nope, leave me alone. I'm not facing a Saurus. I'm gonna have to run back to the, the town. I can't face one of these beasts. Okay. Whew. Well, I might um, might leave the desert for now. Try again some other time to find a ghoul. The Saurus should make its way back. I see you left your Saurus out in the desert. Most Sauruses find their way back here to the stables. Well, hopefully it will find its way back. I got scared off by a uh, Saurus. The night is still young on day four. You awaken much refreshed. Abdul is back as well. Welcome, hero. Uh, let's sit down and have a chat with Abdullah. Soon Shapir will be awash in flames. Hero, you must save us all again. So uh, let's uh, ask him about the fire elemental. Living flames which seek to consume everything. We shall be burned to cinders like a source of steak left too long on the grill. Okay, I better sort this out before um, having breakfast. Let's go out and have a look. Oh! There's a magical mass of fire. Uh oh. Oh, it's getting a little bit close. Let's lead it out here. You've lured the fire elemental away from the plaza. Now you must try to weaken and capture it. I'm going to drop the lamp. You drop the lamp. It is very hurt and angry. I have a new flame now, you say to the lamp, and she's the light of my life. You couldn't hold a candle to her, but inside your heart burns with the loss of your bright young friend, the lamp. Uh, let's see if we can uh, pour the water on the fire elemental. Okay. Ah, there we go. Nice. Nice and small now. As you pick up the lamp and rub it, a small flame appears. When you rub it again, the flame goes away. You now have a magic lamp. You put the lamp safely away in your backpack. It's just your average, everyday magic lamp containing a fire elemental. Nice. So, it uh, looks like we've saved Shapir from the uh, fire elemental. Here over the north, a thousand thanks for defeating the thing of fire. We were forced to flee for our lives when it set the stand of Ali, Shaka, Ali Shikara flame. Yeah, I don't think he's coming back, actually. He lost his little shop. Uh, I missed my breakfast for that as well, so... Let's go and sit down and have our morning meal. Shema will be with you shortly with one of her splendid meals. Hero, please take care of yourself. I worry for you. Uh, let's tell her about the uh, the fire elemental. Okay. Uh, she doesn't care. <laughs> Your breakfast is delicious. <laughs> okay, beautiful. So I'm going to head out, maybe do a little bit more training today. I'm not sure if there's anything else really to do. Let's just have a look at the uh, items, food rations. 
didn't get the pot of dirt for some reason. The flower bouquet. We're going to head off uh, again to the Fighters Plaza. Today's a good day for fighting practice. Every day is a good day for practice. Let's tell her about the uh, fire elemental. Um, no, she doesn't really care. Uh, I could give her the uh, the flowers. I don't think there's any points for giving away the flowers. These make good salad for dinner. That'd be very kind of you. Uh, yeah, we didn't get any points for it. But I will do some training with her, though. Oh, gosh. She got in a good strike there. Brigands don't defend well. Keep up your attacks. You're so exhausted that everything you do hurts. Better get some rest. Okay, nice job. So let's have a look and see how we did there. Everything has gone up. Health points now up to 63, uh, which is good. Weapon use up to 62, so that's pretty good. Strength is now up to 59. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to look at uh, on the notice board. Uh, read notice. Um, okay, the one who restores the Emir Aras al Din to his rightful place. Receive a thousand dinars. He's willing to brave the desert, should see Karak Atta. Okay, we know about that. There's need for a spell of great power, the whirling part of a dervish. Um, the way of the paladin to seek to learn to do. And then we've got uh, those who do service the city and land uh, of Shapir shall know the rewards of goodness by order of the Sultan Harun al Rashid. Hmm, okay. I might have the day off today and just uh, head back to the inn. Just relax for a little bit. And maybe tonight, uh, head back out into the desert to see if I can find the ghoul. Let's... Magic shop, apothecary. Oh, there's the wit there. I can head back there now if I want. I'm not sure if there's any reason to. Actually, can I go straight to Aziza's place? Let me work out in the street. Oh, there's the Enchantress's house there. Let's go over there and uh, tell her about... Uh, about the fire elemental. Welcome, Jester. Come in, sit down and be welcome. Greetings. Shall we share tea? Yes, we shall share tea. The tea is cool and refreshing. You find yourself relaxing as you drink and listen to the sound of flowing water. Now that we have shared tea, what is uh, it for which you have come? Ask about... ghouls? Oh no! I did not welcome those who are rude in my house. Oh no! What did she do? That was exhausting. You don't think you'd survive going through that again. Um, I think I was supposed to thank her for the tea. Something like that. Did I lose some honor there? Lost all my stamina. Okay, we're going to leave her alone for the day. Head back to cut us in. I think I need to rest. Uh, it is only uh, mid-morning. But we had a big day yesterday dealing with the uh, fire elemental. Rest until evening. I must be sure to consult the astrologer about the fire elemental. Um, elemental. It must be, it must certainly be a bad omen. Shema will be with you shortly. Let's grab a meal. 
Uh, there will be more elementals to deal with. For now though, the supper is Saurus, stuffed with grapes and saffron rice. Uh, let's ask him about the fire elemental. What does he think about it? Living flames which seek to consume everything. Let's ask about uh, air elemental. He's said to be a living whirlwind. Okay, he doesn't have too much to say about it. We're going to uh, just go to sleep tonight and see what happens tomorrow. Sleep until dawn. I think tomorrow night I'll head out into the... Try going out into, into the desert again to see if I can find the, uh, the ghoul's claws. Welcome, hero. Gives you a morning meal of warm bread and honey butter. Nice. Your breakfast is delicious. Uh, so what day are we? Uh, day is dawning on day six.